A deal is signed in Havana to normalize relations. The EU's foreign policy chief called it a historic step. CCTV's Michael Voss has details from Havana. After two years of tough negotiations, the European Union's High Representative for Foreign Affairs, Federica Mogherini, flew to Cuba to finalize the deal. The agreement will allow the European bloc to establish full economic cooperation and aid with Cuba and maintain a political dialogue on issues including human rights, though it now has to be ratified by each of the 28 EU member states and the Cuban government. This agreement is an unprecedented step in the history of relations between the European Union and Cuba. We are now going into our respective internal processes, which we hope will go quickly to allow the signing of the accord. This agreement uh, is going to open a new chapter in the story of our relations. The story of the relations between the European Union and Cuba is uh, somehow unique. Uh, I said last year, and I repeat today, that uh, Europe doesn't need to come back because we have always been here. In business terms, European countries have a notable presence in Cuba. The French company Pernod Ricard has a joint venture to produce and market Cuban rum. Britain's Imperial Tobacco has a similar arrangement with the Cuban state to export its famous cigars, while the Spanish company Amelia has one of the biggest hotel chains on the island. The EU suspended official relations with Cuba in 2003 over a crackdown on journalists and activists but bilateral relations with individual European countries were never broken. The negotiations began before the United States and Cuba announced their agreement to restore diplomatic relations. The final pact comes less than two weeks before US President Barack Obama makes his historic visit to Cuba. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.